it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe if you're also back welcome back thank you so much for joining me again it's the I'm back crew but if you're new and maybe you like what you see please consider subscribing we have tons of fun here on this channel talk I hesitated a little bit just now almost choked on my spit <laughs> don't mind me but we have tons of fun here on this channel talking about makeup and all things beauty and today we have another get ready with me video I love doing get ready with me videos because it's a great way to showcase a bunch of new products that I'm trying out that I've fallen in love with and I can showcase them to you guys so if you are interested, maybe this will give you a little push to pick it up, you know, or maybe I can change your mind. And today we have some fun products to talk about and we have some winners, okay? We're gonna do this beautiful neutral look. You know I love a good neutral look these days. I love color, but a good neutral, like, come on, right? We Everybody loves a neutral, come on. So I picked up the new Nomad Air Cosmetics, Nomad Cosmetics Air Collection. Nomad Cosmetics Air Collection, which is debuting their first skincare products. So we have a lip salve, a face mist, a facial moisturizer. It just said, yeah, the face cream. And what else is included in the set? Oh, the eyeshadow palette, of course. So this is a six pan eyeshadow palette. We're going to use all these products and I'm going to give you my thoughts. We also have the Nanessa Myricks new shade that was released for holiday. I'm going to pop this on the cheeks as well as this new foundation and primer. Y'all, y'all, we may have winner's hair, but you're gonna hear all about it, and you're gonna see this in action, so stay tuned. And there are quite a few other new products mixed in, so if you wanna see how I accomplished this look, and talk about some new products, and also catch up with me, because I'm gonna fill you in on my trip to Jamaica, you know? And all the shenanigans that happened there, and yeah, we're just gonna chat. So if you wanna catch up with me, get ready with me, and see some new products in action, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right guys, so as usual, what are we doing? Starting off with a clean, freshly washed face. Let's dive into this. So, freshly washed face. I just slapped myself really hard, that hurt, all right. So, we have skincare products because I am, where is it? Here it is. Oh my God, so this is the Nomad Air Collection, recently launched. I'm going to take this little tag off right now. It is finally time. So I saw this little collection sneak peeked on Instagram. You know, as you do, that's where you learn about new makeup collections, right? So I saw this whole thing and I was like, what's going on? Nomad's doing what? So Nomad has released skincare products in this collection, along with a little six pan neutral palette that you can use for travel. And I was intrigued, not because of the skincare, not because of the palette, but because of the little bag. I mean, I, oh my God, like this blue. First of all, blue is my favorite color, color wise. For clothing and like lifestyle things, I prefer white. Like give me a fully white room, I live, okay? I love wearing white clothing. My car is white. If I'm getting another car, it has to be white. White is my jam, right? But when it comes to an actual color, it's blue. Give me blue all the way and this blue is so sexy. So the bag drew me in, right? Now the only way you can actually get the bag is to order the full collection. And the full collection is $79. I think I use a 10% off discount code. I'm not sure, but I ordered the full collection because I wanted the bag. I know, lamest thing ever, but I have no regrets. So it has a little handle. You know, it's cute. It even has little airplanes for the zippers. I'll show you it up close and personal. So inside, we have a couple of compartments. You know, we have two zippered compartments. One takes up the full side of the bag so you can put all your little skincare products over there, your makeup products. And then on the other side, you have a half zippered compartment. All of these compartments are mesh so you can see what's in the bag. And then we have little elastic holders for brushes or pencils or lip products that are shaped like pencils, right? And then you have more room in the bag so you can stack more things in it, not just in the compartment. And then all the skincare that they released along with the palette comes with the collection, right? 
So we have a face cream, which we're gonna use now. So let me read directly from the website. This is the face cream, and it comes in a tin container, which is really sustainable, because once you're done here, you can refill it with whatever product you want and use it for travel again. And it's a screw top, so it's not just one of those metal tins that you just snap the lid on. This one you have to actually screw on, so it's gonna keep the product in there secure, it's not gonna leak or anything. So on the website it says, the face cream, weightless hydration cream that blends replenishing shea butter and jojoba oil with moisture locking sodium hyaluronate and dimethicone to hydrate and nourish. It's an extra large 100 millimeter size. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of this, just a little bit because I feel like it's a little bit rich and I have oily skin, so I'm not trying to be too hydrated. But I just washed my face, so I can do with a little hydration. So I'm going to grab it on my hand and apply it. Shea butter and jojoba oil are the ingredients that are throwing me off. Because those are very hydrating. And like I said, I have oily skin, so I tend to stay away from shea butter products on my face. So it's cruelty-free and vegan. And let's see, usage life is, it does not say, does it? Mm -mm. Where's the usage life? 12 months, all right. It's a cream product, so 12 months seems fair. The first ingredient is water, then they have glycerin, followed by olive fruit oil, dimethicone. Okay, so the jojoba seed oil and the shea butter. Where's the shea butter in the ingredient list? I'm looking for it, child. The shea butter is what, the eighth ingredient? One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's the eighth ingredient. So not too far down on the list, but not high enough where it may overtake the formulation and make it really greasy. This, mm, it feels very hydrating, first of all. I would probably reserve this for my hands because, yeah, it feels, it's not thick, right? It feels lightweight. It feels like a water-based hydrating product but it's a little bit thicker than I'm used to. But we're gonna see how it lays under makeup. You know, we'll see the vibe. So it has dimethicone and glycerin, so those are good ingredients. It feels good, right? But it feels almost like it's a little bit too hydrating for me. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. Then they have the lip salve, right? Again, in a little tin. Screw off the top, and this one says, Multi-purpose healing balm that blends conditioning rose hip, cotton seed, and jojoba seed oils with soothing sea berry fruit and camilla flower extracts to smooth and protect. 25 gram size. It smells, you know what it reminds me of? Balm de Rose from, um, who does that? Terry, by Terry? Yeah. And I love that lip balm. It's my go-to lip balm. Very expensive. Hmm, this feels nice. It's not really thick. It feels pretty lightweight. Has a nice light rose scent, similar, like I said, to Balm the Rose. It's not as thick as Balm the Rose. And this has like a light pink tint. Balm the Rose is a little bit creamier, a little mil milkier. So you can see the color on your lips a little bit more. Hmm, feels good. We're gonna see how that sits. And then we have the face mist we're gonna use this last so this one says light refreshing mists that blends antioxidant rich rosemary water and moisture attracting sodium pca to refresh and revitalize 100 milliliter size so this is the 3.4 fluid ounce which makes sense it's a travel size so you can travel with this throw it in your bag refresh your skin on the airplane because you know when you travel right your skin, oh god, your skin goes through it. Especially if you're on a long haul flight, you can get dry, all right? Make sure you hydrate, drink water, walk around if you can, unless you're like me and you like the window seat. I barely get up during a flight, child. I'm sitting down, I am staying put, unless I'm drinking a lot, which I tend to do, so I at least pee once. The point is, you can spritz this on your face to refresh and just to hydrate. So okay, good for this. I'm liking these so far. The moisturizer probably is my least favorite because it doesn't feel like 
a moisturizer that I would want for my oily skin, but I can see this being handy on a flight when you really want the hydration. All right, the next product in the bag is the Travel Palette. This one says, Travel Eyeshadow Palette with six rich shades curated to create versatile looks from subtle to bold. Three mattes and three shimmers, extra slim portable case with mirror perfect for travel. True. Cute. Everything's blue, right? I'm loving this. The boxes that all these products come in blue, the bag is blue. It's cute. So this is a nice travel friendly palette. Has the little mirror, has a protective paper insert, which I like. I prefer that over plastic. Make it as recyclable as possible. And then we have the six eyeshadows. Like they said, three mattes, three shimmers, varying shades. So you can use the lighter shimmer for the daytime on the center of the lid as an inner tear duct highlight, put it all over the lid, and then we have a deeper shimmer here. This palette is more meant for tan to deep skin, I'm thinking, just because the two lighter mattes are not that light. They are probably my skin tone. Yeah, so for my skin tone, I'd use this. But I'm wondering, because when I swatched it out, the lighter shade, let's take off, that one is a little bit richer. We'll see, we'll see, because we're gonna use this palette. And like I said, the tote is really where they sold me. If you wanna buy everything individually, the face cream is $49, the mist is 22, the salve is 12, the travel palette is 22, and then the tote, which is not sold separately, has a $20 value. You get all of this for $79. It's a $125 value. That's what they're valuing it at. And honestly, like I said, the tote sold me, but I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of the salve because it feels nice. You can use it on your cuticles too, by the way. Like salves, you can use them on dry areas, on your elbows, stuff like that. And the palette for sure is gonna get used because I swatched it and it's a cute little travel palette. It is really nice. The mist, we'll see how the mist goes. I haven't used that yet. The face cream, I'm gonna probably use as a hand cream. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the eyeshadow. Um, eyes are prepped and primed, all that stuff. I have my Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion, my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Toffee under my brows, and then on the lids, I have just a soft wash of my MAC Lane Low Paint Pot. All right, let's dive into it. Ciao, what's going on? What is going on with y'all? So here's the thing. This came right in time because I'm about to head out again. <laughs> I'm traveling again. You guys are probably like, girl, you don't sit still. I don't, apparently. So this is a last minute trip. I am headed to um, Minneapolis. Yeah, I'm going to Minnesota, child. Now, like I said, the lightest shade in the palette is a little bit too dark, so I'm gonna go in with my blur eyeshadow and I'll show you the difference. These two shades, you see how blur is a little bit lighter? Yeah, I'm gonna use blur in my crease just to start it off. But yeah, I'm headed to Minneapolis. I'm just going to a client's facility. It's just for one day. So I'm leaving on Tuesday. I'll be in the office on Wednesday and then I'm back on Thursday. Quick trip and hopefully I get to see my nephew because if you know, if you watched me, you know my nephew just went to college in Minnesota. So. We'll see, he says he has classes and labs those days, so we'll see because he's like an hour and a half away from me, from where I'm gonna be, actually, so we'll see if I meet him up. All right, let's go in with that lighter shade here. So that is, let's take off. Come in, do, yeah, hi. So we already have like that blend and crease shade, and if you're a beginner in makeup, I suggest you get a skin tone shade like that for your blend in transition shade. What it's gonna do is going to set your eyelids down if you apply a primer. So if there's any moisture left behind, that shadow is going to set all of that, right? And then it will give your eyeshadow something to blend against, which sometimes can work against you, especially if your eyeshadow doesn't really stick down, but it gives like a smooth area to buff eyeshadow on. So let's go in with this shade from the Nomad palette. I feel like I could have used this shade initially, but it's just a little hint deeper than my skin tone, which is actually perfect because if you just want a quick wash of color in your crease to create like an everyday eyeshadow look, this is gonna be perfect. You know what? Yeah, I could have used this just out the gate. 
it's not too dark you'll see it's just like even just a touch darker than my skin you can barely see the tint right that's a good shade now let's go in with the up up and away that one is slightly deeper so we're gonna grab it on our brush this is my Sonia Kashuk tapered blending brush oh yeah so when I swatched these shadows out they swatched so well oh my god so I was excited about the palette the palette and the bag that was my thing because I don't even do face mist so I wasn't even intrigued and that's $79 honestly Truly, I closed my eyes and purchased it. Let me see, did I get a discount? Yeah, I did. I used the 10% off discount and I got free shipping. So in total, I paid $71.10, which is still pricey. It's like $70 for a palette and a bag. Like, what are we doing here? It was probably not a wise choice. I, <laughs> impulse purchase, I grabbed it and I really have no regrets because the bag is super cute. And so far, this palette is working out. The AC just kicked on. You're just gonna have to deal because it's hot as balls right now. So, it's officially fall. It's officially autumn in the Northern Hemisphere, to be fair. It's now cooling down in Florida. It's like maybe high 80s now. Still hot because the sun is out, right? But it's beautiful and it's a little bit more comfortable. It's not like really hot, hot. Now, Florida doesn't get as hot as New York in the summer, believe it or not. New York can get to the 100 degree mark and we can have heat waves, all right? But in Florida, it's more like 93, 94. Sometimes it goes a little higher, but it's never like 100, 105 like New York could get. And Jamaica is way hotter. So I feel like I'm okay with a 90 degree day in the summer and then as long as it gets cooler which it's getting cooler now we're in the 80s right look how pretty that worked out oh my god and these shadows are blending really well i am not the biggest fan of the nomad cosmetics formula i'm gonna be honest with you their mattes perform better to me than their shimmers so i wasn't like too enthused about their last couple of launches I didn't really pick them up and they haven't sent me any of their palettes since the last time they sent me something which was hmm I don't even remember when the last one was but I really didn't love the last palette so maybe that's why they're like this girl ain't sharing it so I'm like all right whatever let's go in with the dark shade now this is fly the skies this is just a dark brown so I'm just like okay I'm going in with my real techniques deluxe crease brush i love this brush so much oh my god that matte brown applied so easily that was nice that's easy okay so yeah it's cooling down and thank heavens because that means less reptiles less less lizards for me to contend with now the iguanas are back okay I saw two huge ones, two ginormous ones. They were big, big boys. And I'm like, oh, look at my guanies doing their thing. I am not scared of iguanas. I have overcome that fear after finding out that they are vegetarians and they are scared to death of me. As big as they are, they are scared. They go scattering, okay? They run. And I have water like right outside my door not right outside because i live upstairs but like right outside i have water right and if these iguanas see me come in i'll just step down the stairs and they dive into the water and i didn't know that they were that fast i didn't know that they were that fast and that they were that good um of swimmers they're really fast and they'll stay underwater you'll see them dive in you'll see the little head and it's gone and then you look across the way and they're all the way over on the other side. And I'm like, damn, guanies can swim, right? So I'm not fearful of guanas because they really don't get up in your business, right? They try to avoid you like the plague. So happy to see a couple more of them. Happy that they're back, you know, good times. And also, I am able now to open my kitchen window. If you cook, then you know it's ideal to have a window in your kitchen that you can open, okay? But for the longest time, I had a gecko, which croc and lizard, that lived outside the window. It was a baby, so I know the babies are stupid. So he would sit right in the crease of the window, 
and if I opened it, he would be able to like come in, right? So I never opened that window, but he hasn't been there in a while. So either he died or he got grown and decided he was out of there, right? Because there was no reason for him to be in the little crux of that window. It made no sense. There was no food there. Like, go look something to do. Because the other ones are like outside my door, which makes sense. They come where the light is and then they, they'll eat snacks. Okay, I have to build up the brown a little bit. But I think that is stunning. I am going to use, I hope this AC shuts off because when I edit, I hear it. So I know it's annoying to listen to, but I'm hot and I don't feel, usually I will like go turn it off, but I'm hot. So I'm not, there it goes. It's gone, but I'm hot. I'm not trying to like turn it off or anything. So I don't know what happened to him, but girl, the last time I spoke about a lizard in a get ready with me video that attacked me in my bathroom that I had to kill, girl, I got cursed out by someone in the comments and I found it so hilarious because I did say in the video, mm, that lip salve feels nice. Okay. So far loving it. Let's go in with See the World. So this one is like a darker brown shimmer with pink shimmer to it, like pink sparkles. Oh, that's pretty. But this is definitely more on the smoky side. That is a pretty color. I'm just putting that on the outer V. Yes, yeah, somebody was so upset with me. They're like, I can't believe you. That lizard suffered because you sprayed him with bleach and then you put a bottle over him. So he was just there slowly dying and suffering. And I'm just like, okay. And she was like, you should have swept him up in a bucket and tossed him outside. I'm like, girl, who, who, me? Me for sweep him up in a bucket, girl. Who you talking to? Who is you talking to? Listen, usually I'll have someone come and gather up the lizards, right? And it usually works out. They'll come, they'll get the lizards, scoop them up and toss them outside. Danger avoided, they're not dead. Okay, um, you know, PETA isn't mad at me, okay? This time, it's like three in the morning. No one's coming over to save me from the lizard. So it's me by myself and guess what? It's me or him. It's me or him. And he had to go. And she was like, he was suffering. I'm like, no, he wasn't. I'll tell you right now. He died within seconds because I sprayed him with the bleach, right? And then I covered him with the bottle. But then I went and I got the um, insect spray. So I have like a road spider and lizard spray thing. Like, you know, sprayed his ass. And when I lifted up the bottle to spray, he was already dead. He was already dead, so everybody calm down. He was dead already. He wasn't suffering for hours. She was like, he was suffering for hours. Oh my God, I'm gonna unsubscribe. And I'm like, okay. And she, here's the kicker. When she says she's gonna unsubscribe, she goes, well, it doesn't matter anyway because you're probably gonna block me. And I'm like, it really is not that deep. <laughs> I don't even, you know who I block? I block spam bots. Those are the accounts I block. Like, I don't even go through the bother of blocking people. It's never that deep for me. I promise you, I don't get like crazy comments apart from the spam that I need to block. It's, I don't get those kinds of comments. So girl, I did not block you. If you unsubscribed, okay. It happens daily. I lose subscribers all the time. It's <laughs> not my first time at the rodeo. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, here's the thing. I picked up a single shadow from Half Moon Cosmetics. It's this guy right here. Look how pretty, right? What is the name of that shade? Christ Lord. It is called Wet Pebble. And it looks like a wet pebble. These singles that I have are from Lisa Eldridge. Not my favorite shadows. And this little palette, this little compact is a kit pack. Another travel brand. So they have these little magnetic palettes. They're two-sided, no mirror. There's one with a mirror. So you can buy one with the mirror on one side and then the magnets, but it made sense for me to just have magnets on both sides. Holds a lot of eyeshadows, but it's really compact. Anyway, I am going to grab the Wet Pebble because I feel like it's such a cute shade. I want to use it. And I'll come back to the Nomad palette in a second. Let me dampen my brush. So yeah, she's like, oh, you're gonna block me anyway. I'm like, I'm not gonna expend that much energy, I promise you. Social media is not, it's really not that deep. And I understand 
that people are obsessed with social media and they get so caught up and I'm like I'm not that person I'm really not even though like social media is a part of my existence because I'm on here filming videos I interact with you guys not as much as I would like because I don't have the time but I want to create content and share my love of makeup with you guys and I love being here with you guys right I would never just depart my channel, that's not me. But I also don't invest all my energy into social media. So don't get it twisted that I'm busy blocking people and doing all this, like watching numbers. If I watched numbers, I'd be gone a long time ago. Or I'd probably switch up and do something different. That is a pretty color. So it's lighter than the dark brown shade in the Nomad palette, that dark shimmer. But it's such an easy shade. Oh my god, that's so pretty. This is such a good shade to just one and done. These are $12. They come in little pans. Here's the little packaging. You open it up. It's all recyclable. This little container, I guess, it's made out of the container of like egg cartons you know the egg carton material that little foamy cardboard that dissolves really easily so it comes in that and you can just pop it out and pop it into a magnetic pan so really pretty so yeah it's not that deep for me i swear to you i do this for fun and i do this because i like it okay that's nice. You know what? Since I have this palette open, because the Nomad Cosmetics Brown, you guys probably already know, I love a dark brown. It's a nice little dark brown, but I feel like I always want to go darker. So let me grab the Lisa Eldridge shade here in Nocturama. Yeah, Nocturama, which is this dark shade. I didn't fall in love with these shades because... They are supposed to be mattes, like velvety mattes, but they're kind of like a cream to powder. So they're a little bit more difficult to pick up. I mean, they apply well. It's not like they don't apply, but I feel like I kind of have to work a lot to, like, to pick up the product. I'm like, nothing's really picking up, and then you don't know how much is picking up. It's just like, go with the vibe and hope for the best but they work it's not that they don't work you know what maybe i should get more use out of them because that little dark shade really helped to darken up that outer v and it blended really well with that outer color as well yeah lisa you're not too bad enough you're not too bad so yeah get dark up big excitement to come create in my comments but what else so let me tell you i went to jamaica for my father's funeral um it was interesting <laughs> interesting so his latest family so he had gotten married years after his youngest child so i'm 40 his youngest child is about 24 25 but his youngest grandchild is 30. <laughs> what 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 are we doing here so the child before that, I think she's like early 30s. So maybe 31, 32, maybe, I'm not sure. Either way, my dad was out here doing it, okay? So that last family, he was married. They were divorced though before, you know, he died. But that woman had three other kids that he took in and took care of. Mind you, my mom had three kids for him. We never saw him, right? But he took up this woman with three more picnic and took care of her kids, then had two more that were, I'm not sure if those kids are his, but not my zoo, not my monkey, okay? So they were very standoffish and they didn't talk to me and I didn't talk to them, I didn't care. So the ex-wife, bitch, bitch, I was ready for her because if she spoke to my mom, cause my mom came too, right? If she came at my mom sideways, it would have been problems. If any of them came at us sideways, it would have been problems. Because what? Okay, but we were there with my sister and her family. I have a... Girl, I have a grand niece. Shut your mouth right now. Slap me and call me Susan. Girl, a grand niece. Meaning, I have a niece, right? My oldest sister had a daughter, my niece, right? 
And I think I'm like maybe eight years older than her. Yeah, I'm like maybe eight years older than her. And maybe five even, because when my brother graduated from high school, right? And he's six years older than me. She was about five, two and two together, carried a one, eat away. She is older, right? She has a daughter. So that makes that child, her daughter, my grandniece. Problems and situations. So my father had a great grandchild and had a 20 year old child. Anyway, come to find out there's another daughter as well. <laughs> like what? So apparently there are seven of us. So there were three before my, no, eight, eight. So we thought there were seven. So the two oldest sisters I knew about, right? My mom even had them like growing up, we knew them. I'm gonna go in with Find Your Wings, this here which is like the lighter champagne shade. I'm gonna use that on the inner tear duct. This is a Delium Tools 767 round blender. That's not a very light inner tear duct shade. I could have probably used that on the lid. That is not light at all. Hmm. Let's use the Follow the Sun shade. That is the yellow champagne. Maybe that will be a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. So we'll use that. So um, yeah, those two kids I knew about. But apparently there's a third one, right? Before my brothers were born, because he got married to my mom, had the three of us, and then, you know. But there's a third daughter that lives in London, Britain, I don't know, she lives over there, so. You know, all Jamaicans go to London, New York, Florida, Connecticut, or New Jersey, even Philadelphia. That's where, we, that's where we all go. Like, you don't hear about Jamaicans being in, like, Idaho. There probably are Jamaicans for sure, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> those are the default places that we migrate to. Anyway, she got to London. So that was the first time I met her, and it wasn't very pleasant because... I was outside handing out programs to like, you know, the people that are coming in and she rolls up on me. She's like, and who are you? Oh, we are talk to first of all, first of all, who are you? Who you talk to first? <laughs> like what? But because I'm like the greeter, right? I'm supposed to be the pleasant one in this whole situation. It's my dad's funeral. So hello, like, you know, I'm not going to go <laughs> cursing somebody out which I was ready to, don't play with me. <laughs> Do not play with me, because I told you, I was I was on alert, I was ready, okay? And then my brother's wife, she a warmonger too, you know? She a warmonger, she was ready, because she made sure she came. She had a business trip before, and she actually ended up coming to Jamaica. Her flight landed the morning of the funeral. They were late, because she had to go back to the hotel. It's a whole thing, she's always late, but. <laughs> She was late and my brother is one of the pallbearers. He didn't even know. It's like a whole disorganized mess. Anyway, it still went fine, you know, but I'm greeting. So I'm going to go in with the mattifier shine control perfecting primer and finisher from Estee Lauder. Let me tell you something. I am so glad I discovered this. So Ulta had a 20% off sale. I grabbed this because I swatched it in store. I really liked it. It's like $49 and I was like, oh God. I love a primer. I never used to love a primer, but now I do. I love a face primer. I feel like they have really perfected primers now, so they actually do something. Before, I would not have recommended a primer because I felt like they didn't do anything, but I feel like these new primers do something. So this mattifying primer, love it. It's like a creamy texture. It's not drying at all, but somehow it mattifies. Anyway, so I'm there handing out the programs with my older sister, whatever, I'm greeting. This one, she roll up, no, I know. So now the program itself has like pictures in the middle, like a collage of all his kids and, you know, pictures of my dad over the years and blah, 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 blah. So I knew from the pictures what my sister was supposed to look like, right? So... This woman roll up on me. Imagine somebody rolls up on you. You're handing out programs and whatever. And the first words out of her mouth were, and you are like, who you talk to? Who 
are you talking to? Like, so I'm like, I'm Neville's, so my, my dad's name is Neville, right? So I give her the look like, so I'm Neville's daughter, Tina. Who are you? Like, she's like, oh, I'm such and such. I should get the name of the sister. What's your name again? Girl, me don't remember the name. I'm grabbing this little palette from Real Techniques. It came with a little brush set, but you can like use it to put products on. So I'm gonna put my foundation on it. The foundation I'm using is also from Estee Lauder, Discovery, okay? So this is the Double Wear Maximum Cover Camouflage Makeup for Face and Body Broad Spectrum SPF 15. Apply sparingly and blend. So you will not benefit from the SPF because if it's 15, you're gonna need to slather it on to get the benefit. But you can always layer it over your SPF to get that added benefit, but you're not gonna get it from this. So it doesn't even matter. So I just put a little bit because you don't need a lot of this. All right, let me use one of the brushes from the Real Technique set. So this is the number 84. Does it say the flat contour? Flat contour, but may I use it for foundation? So she come up and she said a name. So I'm like, so are you supposed to be my sister that I haven't met yet? She's like, oh, da, 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 yeah. I'm like, so now I'm irritated, right? Because to me, that is not the way you should meet your sister that. Can I tell you something about this foundation? Y'all need to see this. It's so smooth. Like that's the first thing that comes to mind when I apply this. It's so smooth. It's so silky and coverage. You saw the dark mark on my acne scar. Coverage. But it's so light and like it's velvet. Look at this. Pick it up, right? Y'all saw I didn't put a lot. And I'm gonna swipe it. Do you... <laughs> Did y'all feel the, the like, the, te oh my god, it's so buttery and velvety and smooth. Oh my god. So I'm pissed off because I'm like, that's not how you should meet me, first of all. If you did really want to, like, do the surprise thing, you should have rolled up on me and be like, hey, I think your name is Tina and you're Neville's daughter. I am such and such. I'm your sister, right? Or like, hey... My name is such and such. Are you Tina? Because I think you're my sister. Like something cute, you know? Instead of come up to my boat and you are, how oh, are you? Who oh, are you? Okay, <laughs> daddy, you're lucky. <laughs> daddy save her. My come with a tracer right there so in other people in church. Don't do that, don't do that. So already I don't like her. I don't, <laughs> I don't like her, I don't like her vibe. Like, mm-mm. She thinks she cute, and honestly, truly, I'm not think of with daddy pick him. My mix up, and I look all my mix up. So, there are eight of us, and we took a picture with all of us, right? Because I said I wanted to make sure we got like a photo with all the kids, because this will never happen again. We'll never be all in the same place again, because he was the only connection to all these people, right? I will see my older siblings, the older sisters, I will see them again, because I'm cool with the two older sisters, right? I was in, I was, like I mentioned, I think I mentioned this, I was the flowers girl or the mini bridesmaid. Because you know them have the mini. I don't even need the rest of this product. Honestly, all that product left, I don't need it because I'm covered. Even for a concealer, like, I can use it under, let me use it as a concealer. Um, yeah, I will see them because I was, like, I'm connected to them. Um, the middle, not the middle, the second sister, she'll probably come and visit Florida because she lives in Georgia. She'll probably come visit Florida sometime soon, you know, when she gets some time. Because my mom is, like I said, close to those two because she kind of, you know, dealt with them while she was married to my dad. They even, the second one that lives in Georgia, she lived with my mom for a couple of years, right? And my mom was cool with the mother of both of them, right? The mothers, because it's two different mothers. Lord, my father was out here doing things, girl. It was in these streets. Very, very in these streets. He was a ladies' man. Yes, child. So anyway, so I'm going to go into the next brush from this set. So this is the foundation brush, which is really what I should have been using. But 
We're gonna use it for bronzer. This is my Juvia's Paste bronzer. It's just been my favorite bronzer, cream bronzer, and I'll just apply it to the hairline. So, um, yeah, we took a picture with all eight of us, right? And you could see the resemblance between the two oldest daughters, the ones that I know, me and my brothers, right? So five of us, and then maybe the last daughter, she has a resemblance of us, but not really. She looked mainly like her mother. She's very thick. She has an ass, girl. She body big. She have a piece of body there. But that's from our mother's side, right? But you can kind of see it. Even the last boy that I feel like is not my dad's, but you know, who am I to judge? But I not feel same a father, child. But even him, I could see like a little resemblance, right? And then all of us are tall. I'm probably the shortest one. Oh no, probably the oldest sister. But like we're all like five, seven and above, right? All tall, except for she, right? The one, the fiesta one, the third one, the supposedly third one. She is itty bitty. She's like five, maybe two, if that much. May I gear a lot because she lick a bit. And my dad was tall, so it's like, I mean, I really feel like you know. And then I met my uncle. I never met anybody from my dad's side. Isn't that bad? It's bad, right? I never met anybody. So now they're at the funeral. So his older brother was there and he looks like when I saw him, I'm like, uncle. And he's like, what? I'm like, your, your Neville's um, um, brother, right? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm your um, niece, I guess. Um, let's do mascara and stuff. Um, what me does to know? Oh, my need, let me show you the new blush. Those are all the creams. New blush, Vanessa Myricks. So she launched this little set, this duo. Oh, you want Lot of God. Oh, upon the side, me for flip it. Mm. Packaging is always so sexy with Vanessa. So it's a full size blush in a new shade. And then she has a mini of the, you know, the look of cream something where she did have a wet name. It's a look of travel size one. It's in the shade Universal. It's a little finishing thing that my never did like. I don't even use it. I'm going to leave it. It's cute though. It's like, look at the, pa ah, the packaging. is so cute. So I kept this little pack. Like, anyway, the blush is the shade It Girl. It's a pink. It's like the viral pink, you know, you know, as you do. Do I have another one of the, no, this cover in a foundation. That need for wash. Um, let me just use my Sydney Grace brush. Yep, let's grab that and pick this up. I really like these blushes. I haven't used them too much. They're nice and pigmented and pretty and I like them. So let's use this little pink one. Cause why not, right? So what me does say? I forget. So yeah, like she is itty bitty. And that not make no sense because like I said, I was meeting my father's family and everybody's tall so how are you this short like I know you can't get it from your mother's side but why are you so small I don't understand why are you so small anyway that's neither here nor there I don't like her <laughs> I don't like her I'll never see her again so it don't really matter but not my forte and then the other two the last two like, they literally standoffish, didn't say anything to us. And I guess I'm the older sister should have said something, but I don't care that much. I really don't care. My older brother didn't say anything. But my middle brother, who was probably the closest to my dad from our side in the last days, because he spent, like, a couple months down there. He was sick. He spent a couple of months down there with my dad recovering. So he's closer with my dad. He felt it the hardest. He did a speech. He was crying. I was up there, like... Let me go help him, yeah. Let me go help him and go let me have somebody's sister, so you know. Sad times, but also like I said, I'm not that close to my dad. So it hit like, oh my god, but like not really at the same time. But Jamaica was a good little quick trip, spent time with my family, met my siblings that I didn't meet before, I guess. <laughs> And then my nieces and nephew, they're so cute. They're cute. My nephew is a looker, okay? My family good looking, child. So, anyway, um, yeah. And now I'm going to Minnesota to freeze my ass off. I am not looking forward to that trip because it's going to be cold, but I'm going to be in and out. I don't know if I should just bring... I have a 
light jacket that I usually wear when it's like 60 degrees but then I have a heavier jacket for 50 degrees and lower and I'm trying to figure out the best approach I'll probably just wear a heavy sweater and then the jacket so I can pack lighter because I don't want to bring the big old jacket you know but I'll bring like leg warmers not leg warmers um we call them tights to wear under my jeans because i'm not used to the cold anymore this eyeshadow is really pretty i'm not used to the cold anymore so i'll just probably bring the tights to wear under my jeans so at least my legs will be warm and then just vibe out with a thick sweater and the jacket you know do what we will and then bring a scarf if anything but other than that we'll see we'll see how are you guys doing has it cooled down where you are? Do I want to put lashes on? Because I really don't want to. This mascara from Huda Beauty. This is nice. I'm going to buy a backup during the Sephora sale. Because I really like it. I like this and my Amico Late. And if you pair them together, like if you layer them. I love layering mascara. Really nice. But this Huda Beauty mascara. What is it called? One Coat Wow. I wouldn't say it's one coat wow, but it's like two coats, yes wow, okay? Now, I didn't set my foundation, you may have noticed, and I didn't use a concealer, as you may have noticed, because the foundation almost sets itself. I'm telling you right now, if you have oily skin, if you're looking for a lightweight, I'm gonna set it, because, you know, creases and stuff, but, um... If you're looking for a full coverage foundation that still feels lightweight, because it feels lightweight, one size powder for under my eyes, it feels lightweight, but I mean coverage, but it's not like, oh my God, your face is like blank right now. It's just, yeah, it's definitely full coverage, you know, covering up all the imperfections, but it's smooth. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't look cakey. Oh my god, and you probably don't even need a concealer because you can just build up coverage where needed, like I did under my eyes, right? I built up the coverage. I'm kind of baking right now, just because I can. <laughs> but yeah, like build up some coverage where you need it, and then let the foundation do the rest, and you don't need a lot. You saw, right? Let me read. You know what? I didn't even read the information about it. What does it say about this foundation? Make me sweat. Make me hotter. Make me lose my Make me water. That girl is so cute. Tyla. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And the little dance. I want to do that little dance. It's so cute. Oh my god. So the primer that I used, where was it? Wait, they lot of mercy. My loss. It forty dollars now. Forty dollars. It is how much? One fluid ounce, and it's a mattifier shine control perfecting primer that creates a silky smooth canvas for makeup application by controlling oil and reducing shine all day. It's oil free, and I feel like it works. I feel like it helps this foundation. The foundation itself, this one is $49 and it contains the one fluid ounce again. It says it's a soothing liquid cream makeup that's designed to camouflage all skin imperfections, including surgical and acne scars, tattoos, birthmarks, sunspots, and varicose veins. So it's for face and body. And I'm going to tell you right now, just based on how it locked everything in place, I'm like, I'm, I'm over the moon. 12 hour wear, natural looking, long wearing. True, a true, it really, it really. The shade I use is 5W2 Rich Caramel. There aren't a lot of shades in this, I don't feel like. 11 shades. Is 11 another one? No, not so enough. 11 shades, but I use 5, wait, 5W2 is the darkest shade? I have the darkest shade? Este. Este. Tay, Lauder, Lauder girl. What do you mean? What do you mean I'm the darkest shade? It matches me really well, but why am I the darkest shade? That ain't even right. Unless it's like that's the darkest shade they have on Ulta. Or, and they have like other shades on Estee Lauder's website. I don't know, but that's not cool. That's not cool if I use the darkest shade and it matches me. But smooth, it sets down. 
I'm not happy now that I know the shade range is garbage, but really pretty. You know what I want to do though? I have a new brush from Refer. This is the Psycoho, Psycho, 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 Psycho cheek brush. Oh my God. This is the most luxurious cheek brush they've ever created. It's a limited edition release, okay? And it's $88, marked down $100. And let me tell you right now, this brush is so soft. So it's the highest level or highest quality of goat hair. So it's ultra soft, ultra luxurious. The tips of the bristles, super fine. It's so soft, guys. Like, you have to feel it. The handle is like a lacquer handle. It's not really... Yeah, it's not really a wood handle, not that I can see, right? Yeah, it's just their signature matte black handle. Lightweight, feels good in the hands, and this is like ultra rare bristles. Like, you don't see these bristles a lot. I'm going to grab some of my Dior blush with it because I just want to use this brush and I want to show you guys. It's so soft. Oh, man. I love a Fude style brush. Fude Japanese style brushes. It's an art. The bristles are soft. They're natural hair. And I love them. My favorite ones are from Sonia G. I hope Sonia G never ends up being problematic because I love her brushes so much. But Refer has some pretty nice brushes too at a discounted rate. So. If you wanted to pick this up, I'll leave my link down below. It's a affiliate link, but oh my god, so good. So let me go ahead, finish up the face since the AC kicked back on. Let me finish up and I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. All right, y'all, y'all don't laugh, but I feel like my forehead is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Maybe I have a receding hairline. <laughs> But we're going to need to go in with a little bit of powder bronzer <laughs> just to tame that a little bit. Oh my god, I feel like... <laughs> oh jeez, probably I, I do have a receding hairline at this point. But look how big my forehead looks. Stop it. Oh my god. Alright, maybe it's because I need bigger earrings. Because the bigger the hoops, the more fairs. I don't know, but something about hoops just changes a look, okay? Makes it more fairs. All right, for the lips, let's do something quick, even though it might not be as quick as I'm thinking, because I want to go in with my liners here from Makeup Forever. So they have this Limitless Liner set. There are five of their artist color pencils. We have black, white, and then three browns, right? And you can use these in multiple ways, all over the face or on, you know, your lips. Let me use the black. Let me see, I haven't used the black yet. Let me use it as a waterline liner, just to see how that goes. Ooh, that actually applies pretty nicely. Flip my mirror over. Yeah, that applies nicely. Okay, Makeup Forever. I used the browns already, but I haven't used the black. But this is a great little set to try out Makeup Forever. You get a black, a white, and then the three browns that you can use for your lips. So I'm going to go in with the deepest shade, apart from the black. This is Limitless Brown. Is it the darkest? Yeah, Limitless Brown is the darkest shade. Come in just a little bit. The salve, still on my lips, still feels really nice. I like the salve so far. I'm just going to outline my lips a little bit, just to define the shape a little bit with this dark brown pencil. This is all the rage, by the way. So this is like the perfect set. And they're all smaller pencils, so they're great for travel. And you're spending less money than buying it full size. You're getting the size you probably will use. You know, you use up, and yeah, you get to try out five different shades. That's a nice color, that shade, mm-hmm. And then I'll go in with, this one is Anywhere Caffeine, and then you have, which one is this, Whatever Walnut, but Anywhere Caffeine, let me just fill in 
the rest of my lips with this one. Yeah, that's enough. And then I have a lip balm. So this little set, cute. Wait, where's the other one? I'm gonna pick it up with my toe is what I'm gonna do. But I'm happy to have this little set so I can travel with it. Now that I've used the black, yeah, that black is nice. Let's see how long it lasts. And for the lips, I picked up the Summer Fridays little mini set. So they had a set of three that were in the normal size, which is, oh, this size, right? And now they have the mini set. I think this was like $25, which is perfect. And you get the little mini guys to travel with. My favorite shade from them is this one, Vanilla Beige. But I also like their brown sugar shade. And then the other one that's included is Poppy, which is also very cute. So that's a nice Poppy shade. But I'm going to try out this shade, which is vanilla. I didn't have vanilla. This is supposed to be just a clear shade. Oh, I love these little bones so much. I know some people don't like the little applicator situation because they don't like the squeeze tubes. I do. I love them. And these are going to be so perfect for travel, which is the thing I like about gift sets and holiday sets because we get little mini sizes that we can travel with. Like, that's perfect. So, yes, lips on point. Let's pull out. That's what he said. And talk about the rest of the products. All right. First up, we have the little Nomad set that I picked up with my foot again, but... Grab it all with my toes. This little set, $79. I got it for $71, free shipping, so you can get a 10% discount. I am happy with the bag, right? I would pay $20 for the bag, okay? Happy with the bag. The little palette, how much was the little palette? They valued the little palette at $22. So this is $42 so far. And then the salve, the lip salve, is 12 so we're up to 54 dollars all right still not the full value for me let's try out this mist the mist i don't have a lot of expectations for because i don't do face mist but let's see okay it's a thin enough little mist i know people love a mist that's not bad feels very refreshing there's no real fragrance to it i'm okay with it I'm okay with this little refreshing mist. I don't think it, it gives me much value though. And then the cream itself, the moisturizer, it's okay. It's not something I would pull out again. You know, I would not grab it again unless I'm using it on my hands. It's not necessarily a day cream for me, but I, would, I will get use out of it at night. I will use it up, but... Overall, for me, the value of the entire set is $54. I will even give it up for the face mist because I'm going to start using face mist. Since I have it, let me use it. And that was $22. So we were at $54 and then we're now at $76. Okay. I am okay with it. Okay. It is what it is. The little cream is the most expensive part of the set, which is $49. That's where the real value is supposed to be, but it's my least favorite part of the kit. I'm happy though, it's fun. It was overpriced for me based on like what I'm gonna really use, but I love the little bag. Don't use my logic to shop, okay? Cause it's stupid, but this little bag is so cute. All right, all right, moving on. Let's talk about the eyeshadow palette, which is the only thing we didn't mention. I really like the eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette applied well. The mattes applied really nicely. The shimmers applied nicely too. We used all three of them, right? And I think they're nice. I think this is more for medium, tan skin, and deeper though. Because the shades that are included won't necessarily be an all-in-one for someone with a lighter skin tone, right? Because the lightest matte shade for me is a blending shade right and then the dark shimmer is gonna be really smoky on lighter skin so I feel like this is better for a smoky look if you're going for that as a lighter skin person or if you're tan and deeper because the shades work a little bit better for that kind of tan and dark skin range I like how they applied and blended I like this palette I will continue to use it the shimmers applied smoothly they actually feel a little bit better than the previous formulations for me and I like it I really like how it applied 
The other shimmer shade that we used from Half Moon Cosmetics, is that what it? Half Magic. Half Magic Cosmetics. This again is uh, Wet Pebble. I love this shade so much. It's such a perfect, ooh, I didn't even show you the eyes complete. It's such a perfect little shade, like the perfect neutral taupey bronze. Oh, I love it. It's so good. I really love that shade. So happy with the eyeshadow. So overall, all good stuff, right? And then what else did we try? The face products. The primer and the foundation from Estee Lauder. Oh my God, best finds in recent times. Okay, I am rhyming because these are so great. And I've had some great experiences this year with foundations. I've found some really great foundations and this one did not disappoint. I was a little bit hesitant, right? I swatched it in store, I was like, ooh, that feels good. Like when you feel something in store and it feels good, you know it's probably going to look good on your skin. So I am happy to report the primer, really nice. It smooths the skin out. It mattifies a bit, but it's not drying at all. It doesn't feel tight. It's like a thin lotion-y, not lotion-y, because it doesn't feel wet. It feels like it has some silicone in it, but not a lot. It's not slippy, right? But, I mean, smooths out the skin. My skin looks velvety. Come on, this is so good. I love this primer. And the foundation blew me out the water. It's high coverage, like full on full coverage foundation that you can use as a concealer. I didn't use any additional concealer in this look and everything is flawless. My acne scar like where? Where? And I love the packaging because it's a squeeze tube which means it's travel friendly. That's my mantra right now for makeup products. Everything needs to be travel friendly and this is ideal. I'm gonna use it on my trip because it feels good. And it's like beautiful, flawless. A little bit, little bit goes a long way. Loving it. The little set of brushes from Real Techniques, I will link it down below. I'll pop it over here. This is a good little set, okay? They, I think it's called like the nude set or something. But it comes with four brushes. Where the other one there? The other one is like, oh wait there, a lot of mercy, hold on. Found it, okay, so this one I didn't use in the video, but all these brushes are really nice. It's a good little set, and you can use your coupon to get a discount off these. So you can get the 20% off coupon that Ulta has right now, or their usual 350 off. Yeah, nice little set, and it comes with this handy little palette that you can use to, you know, put your little makeup on and apply it from there. I like this set. And then the winning brush, oh my God from Refer. Mm. They also released eye brush sets in mini and mega sizes. I can't wait to get those. I ordered those as well. They didn't send them my way, but I am affiliated with Refer, so my links will be affiliate links, but I picked these up for myself because I wanted them, okay? I'm a food a person and I do like the Refer brushes. So once the eye brushes come in, I'll share them with you, but... It's such a good little brush. It's so cute. It's so soft. It's a luxury brush. It's a treat, but that price point, these are usually like a hundred and something dollars for real, for real. So to get this brush at $88, it's a good find. So if you're like a food day lover or you want to try them out, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, all right? The little set from um, Vanessa Myricks, this little brush, it's cute. If you want a pink blush, I think this is cute. And then you get the little travel size, whatever thing that is, the bomb. I don't care about that, but I like this little blush color. It's a cute little pink. Nothing too extreme, like very subtle, very cute. And I topped it with the Dior blush, which I love. I think these are worth it, for real. But the Danessa Myricks blush, cute, cute. The little lip set from, um, who is this? Summer Fridays. I think this is such a perfect way to try these balms out. They're travel size. It's not overpriced, it's like $25, maybe $29 max, but I think it was like $25. And you get four shades to try out. I think this is so perfect. I love these lip balms so much. They're so comfortable. They come off almost like a lip balm, lip treatment, lip oil combo, right? Because they give this glossy look, right? But they're really comfortable. They feel hydrating and they last a long time on the lips, which I appreciate. And again, very comfortable and they don't dry out the lips like some lip balms can because they have ingredients in there, right? That force you to use it over and over again. So you keep repurchasing. That's a scam, don't fall for it, but these are really nice. So really like those and the liner set from Makeup Forever. I'm happy with this as well. I think this was 20 something dollars, 
for a set of five pencils. The eyeliner, the black is working really well and the lip colors, the browns, I think that's such a great set of browns to use for this nudie type of lip. Perfect for me. So I am loving that. Other than that, the rest of the products are tried and true. I love them. The mascara, I love the powders. I already love, you guys already know. So that's it. Let me know if these are products that you guys wanna try out, if any of these caught your eye. My highest recommendation from this entire video is from Estee Lauder. And Estee Lauder is slept on, okay? People see, you know what, that little spray, Maybe you guys that love facial mists are onto something. That wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I mean, it didn't change the finish of my foundation, everything. Yeah, I'm gonna keep using the spray, but these are the winners of the video. Oh my God, the foundation. Get this, okay, the primer. If you have dry skin, I don't know, but if you have oily skin, combination skin, girl, girl or even normal skin, love it. All right, that's it, we're gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna leave a full list of the products used and mentioned in this video down below in the description box. If there's an asterisk next to any of those links, that indicates that it is an affiliate link, which means I will get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through those links. It's a great way to show you support for the channel because it doesn't change the sale price, it just gives me a kickback for you using my link. So if you're shopping online, please consider using my link so I can put right back into the content. I really truly appreciate your support, thank you so so much i also have super thanks and channel memberships that operate as a tip jar so if you wanted to give back to the content in that way that's a great way to show your support as well so thank you to my members i appreciate you thank you so much and for those of you that have given me super thanks oh my god i truly appreciate it thank you and i will leave links to my instagram and twitter which will never be x and until my next video which will be very soon i'll talk to you bye guys